to the Fight Forum. My name is Andre Jacobs, and guys, we've got a pretty damn good UFC women's flyweight title fight. Uh, of course, the champion is Valentina Shevchenko, and she is taking on a an interesting challenger in Jennifer Meyer. Now, I don't have to tell you too much about Valentina Shevchenko. She is second to only really Amanda Nunes in the, well, you know, depending how you feel about Vila Zhang, but in my opinion, she is second only to Amanda Nunes in the best female fighters in the UFC currently, and maybe in MMA in general, if we're being honest. She is uh, a complete fighter if I've ever seen one. Now, she's certainly evolved since she entered the UFC. She was uh, a decent grappler, but a very good striker when she was fighting up at 135 pounds. Uh, but since she's gone down to flyweight, maybe it's a, well, maybe it's the talent, the, the the lack of talent in the division. But ever since she went down to uh, women's flyweight, she has been an absolute destroyer we're talking about pure and utter dominance she has reigned over her division with an iron fist uh first first pure sexy uh whenever i think about valentina shevchenko i think about her head kicking jessica i and turning around to my friend scott big up yourself scott um turn around to my friend scott and just both of our mouths were 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 dropped like a jaw dropped like oh my god i can't believe this this girl got absolutely bludgeoned it sounded like a baseball bat cracking off someone's skull valentina shevchenko at 125 pounds is maybe damn near impossible to stop i can't think of another flyweight who could beat her and you know at some point if she continues this dominance there's going to be calls for her to go up to 135 pounds and get on that little trilogy fight with amanda nunes which i must uh state is quite a contra is, you know a quite a controversial duo of fights because you know a lot of people feel like valentina shevchenko won at, at least one of those contests but let's not give all the love to valentina shevchenko of course she's got a brilliant uh, opponent in front of her in Jennifer Meyer. Here's the thing about Jennifer Meyer. No one can doubt her skills. She comes from a great camp in the Shootbox Academy in Brazil. She's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. She's obviously got some very good striking and in her last fight against uh, Joanne Calderwood, she hit a slick as hell arm bar on her. So the, the, the black belt, it, it means something. She's definitely got some skills on the ground. The problem with Jennifer Meyer is the fact that she doesn't always make weight. I have a problem with this. And everyone should have a problem with this. If you can't make weight, don't fight at the weight class. Don't kill yourself for something that you can't achieve. Because if we all know if you don't make that weight, then you can't fight for that title. She may be one of those tweeners where if there was a 130 pound weight class, like right in the bang in the middle of 135 and 125, she'd be amazing at that. But sadly, that isn't the case. Sadly for her, she has to fight 125 pounds because maybe 130 women at 135 pounds are just too big. So let's hope that she makes the weight. But to be honest, even if she doesn't, I can only really see one winner in this. Valentina Shevchenko is just too good in too many areas. And, you know, maybe she doesn't have the most entertaining fight sometimes, but when she's on form, <laughs> she is a bad, bad woman. She is bad. And I expect her to do some serious damage against Jennifer Meyer. Uh, when they compete. Uh, if you like the content we're bringing out, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all those lovely things. Let us know if you uh, if you agree with me, if you think Valentina Shevchenko is gonna go out there and uh, put a whooping on Jennifer Meyer, or, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm more than happy to argue out with you. 
Take it easy. Bye.